Alright guys, it's happening. It's hello it's happening, be it is back, it's happening. Still in Norway. I'm here. And I'm at the site of two churches next to each other. Stick around and find out why. That's all the information you're going to need right there. So the deal is, is these two churches right next to each other. It's happening, be it is back, all of that. And I understand that two sisters each built one. I don't know why, but they're from something like the 9th century, which is old. So let's have a look around. Now that looks like that old fashioned type glass with the ripples and stuff in it. Funny, I would have expected to find a little bit of stained glass, but maybe that's not correct for the period. I don't know, I'm not IKS. The graveyard here as well, as you can see, which is a dying trade. And there's whatever that is, which is stunning. Windy as you can hear and see. I gotta tell you, Norway is a funny place. There's a lot of old stuff in here, like myself. But um, good god, it's beautiful. Either way. Get around the front and have a look at it, and we'll move on to the second. Ah, now we've got a little bit of leading on the windows here. Nice looking set of double doors. Wizarded wind. Right, let's go and have a look at this second run. It's funny, isn't it? Because this one, I would say, appears older. But I understand they were built more or less very similar time to each other. Look at the beautiful countryside that it's in. Very different construction material to the first one. Same doors. wonder if they were replaced at a later time. Again, I'm still not IKS. I don't know. I'm not whatever the Norwegian version of IKS is. Leaded windows once more. I don't know what that is, but I'm going to go and have a look at that shortly. And finally, the rear of the building. The rear of the year. Nice, isn't it? And there's the other one from a slightly different angle, a bit further away. A 
these clasp type things on the wall. <clears throat> I wonder if that's they due to some sort of subsidence or building coming away because they're not on that side but they are on this side. I wonder if that's an old style of securing that building. So yeah, contrary to whatever else I've said, I found out that this church here, the one of the stone looking construction, is the Maria Church, that was the sister, and um, was built around 1100. And the other one, further back in the distance, the uh, one with the bracing on the wall of it, that one, is the Nikolai Church, which was built about a hundred years later. It's not easy when you don't speak the language. And this, I am told, is a clock tower. And what a fine tower of clock it is too. Let's get deeper and have a look at what's going on here. Now this, as you can see, appears to have bracing all around it. So, I would confidently say that is what it appears to be, is, is holding the building together. It's a closer look at what's going on here. Got a cheeky little door with a big old gap underneath it. I mean, visually, it's beautiful, the top of it, especially the wooden part. I mean, it's pretty much the same old four corners all the way around. Let's go and have a look at the side that faces the road, just to see if that's any different. albeit slightly different colour of wood. I don't know if that's because the sun has bleached or changed it. And again, the bracing. Now, I'm not the type of urbex wizard that would be able to tell you everything about that, but just take it in visually for what it is. Enjoy it. Don't complain. I'm going to have a little stroll through this year yard, taking in my surroundings. As you might notice, yes, I'm walking back up to the first building, the Nikolai Church, I believe, around about, I think it was 1200 AD, due to the fact I didn't notice before those windows. not notice these windows, you see. Another little bit of bracing that's going on. That's the thing you see through the camera. You don't always get everything you think you're looking at. How do? While I'm here, I thought I might as well have a look at a couple of these gravestones. There's a number of them are quite interesting. Any I don't feature doesn't mean they're bad, they just haven't caught my eye. So a little bit of information that's just been pointed out to me is that the first church we looked at, that one, has Catholic crosses on it, whereas the second one, 
the earlier one has got Roman crosses on it, which look a bit like an inverted cross. I'm out of my depth, but I'm not gonna stop. I might stop. Now there's something a little bit different. I believe, I'm making this up by the way, but I believe that the line down the bottom says thanks for everything. Is it just me that goes a bit funny when you find a big tump of earth in a graveyard? Right, I think we're done. I think we're going. Join me again for more Norwegian adventures in Norway. Bit of Herbex, bit of Paranormal, bit of me, bit of this, bit of that. Tidy. Join me next time, getting it done.